It was a story too terrible really to imagine. Three-year-old Liliana Kerr was crushed to death by a falling table at her school more than a year ago. Her mother has been fighting for change ever since. Tonight, as the battles in Lansing brew over so many bills, there's one that has this downriver mom walking the streets asking for your help. Mara McDonald live in Dearborn Heights where Liliana was enrolled in the Head Start program. Mara. Devin, that's right. She was enrolled right here at St. Albert the Great. They had these tables that were stowed in the walls. One of those tables came crashing down on Liliana and she died of blunt force trauma to the head. As Lansing legislators spend late nights in the Capitol, so does three year old Liliana Kerr's mother. My name's Tabitha. Walking door to door. A lot of people tell me they remember this. She's asking for your time. Thank you. And your signature. Your name and then your address. At first they think I'm trying to sell something. Nope, no sell. Thank you. But a heartbreaking story. My little girl was the girl who was killed at St. Albert the Great when a table fell on top of her. Liliana was crushed by that table during recess. The old table came crashing down on her from where it was stowed in the wall. Tabitha testified in Lansing about what happened and State Representative Clint Kesto fashioned a bill to beef up school inspections, but so far no vote during the lame duck session. So Tabitha is going door to door getting signatures as well as an online petition to get what's been dubbed Liliana's Law attention. House Bill number 5984 would make school inspections a yearly requirement and force districts to follow up with remedial action if violations are found. They inspected the school for 36 minutes and the state approved it. How do you inspect a school for 36 minutes to make sure it's safe? You walked no. in, you said hi and you left and then you got paid for it and my daughter paid the bill. Back here live as we speak, the state house is in session in Lansing. They are expected to go all night. Liliana's law is not something that is up for discussion and Tabitha is hoping to have 5,000 signatures by next week to try and get them to pay attention. We're live in Dearborn Heights. I'm Mara McDonald, local four.